All right, day three of the expo. We have Consolidated Outland, Kruger Intergalactic, and Tumbro Land Systems. These are all pretty much the newer ship manufacturers in lore. Head down to check it out. This time I'm not cross-gender now. Uh, switch my character to male. And put on some fancy clothes. Got the Citizen Gone 2948 duster. It's from last year. So yeah. I got to add, I got the script descriptions of each uh, manufacturer here. Uh, it's a galactic. Built from unyielding dedication to precision and balance, Kruger Intergalactic has gone from trusted names in parts manufacturing to household name in the world of weapon to serious contender in the ship game. Case in point, the ultra-refined snub series featured here at the IAE 2949. Sometimes it's good to stay grounded. It certainly works for Tumbro Land Systems. For decidedly old school mentality and steadfast commitment to do one to doing one thing and one thing well. Tumbro is chiseling out its distinct niche in the bedrock of vehicular excellence in the hearts of Rough Riders, the Empire of Y. No longer the young upstart on the landing pad, consolidated outland has made itself very comfortable here at the IA and in countless hangars across the Empire. Thanks to unmistakable style and red hot tech under the hood, the once radical dream of Silas Corner has blossomed into a brand as reliable as it is progressive. Yeah, that's that. Oh, and uh, Great Cat as well is here. Steve Great Cat PTV. Also a very old vehicle. It needs to be updated, but uh yeah, visually it's a little outdated compared to others. So. Yeah, yeah. Great cat personal vehicle, PTV. It's the great cat, it's the uh it. the golf cart of this universe. to it. It can catch on fire quite easily, so you gotta be careful with it. But uh, it can fit in most like medium-sized ships. Uh, they can check out the rest of the ground vehicles. Yeah. And we got Tumbro Land Systems. This came in last year. This is the one I actually used to own before I uh, switched it to the uh, the bike that Tumbro has will also be making next year, I think. Yeah, they don't, fortunately, they don't have the designs of the bike out on display yet, but. Are kind of like the uh, the jeeps, or we call it the. Uh... Tumbro land systems yeah. system check. Yeah, the jeeps. Just thinking of something else. Huh? Um. Also, this is very reminiscent, especially this variant, the TR. It has a turret on the top. Kind of looks like the War Dog from Halo. Here's the uh, base 
base model. You can read it in order. Pause the video and read it. Focus combat this time. Oh wait, this is the base model. That's why I said racing. This is actually the RC version. Yeah, and it actually has an exhaust out the back. I believe the others are actually uh, electric, but this one actually has like a... I don't know, not diesel or gasoline, but this one actually has an engine in the back. And it's even fitted with nitros. Nitrous oxide. So you can press like the boost button, you can get a boost of uh, extra speed. This is the uh, base model. Exploration and recon. Go. And it has a little uh, cargo area in the back. Like, little boxes and everything. Storage axis. And this here is the anti air version, the AA. Concept art pictures. RN. I completely forgot that this one existed. I guess. Now, uh, Kruger Intergalactic. Now, uh, from yesterday in the RSI showcase, you saw these little uh, ships in the back of the um, constellations. Here they are. These little uh, stuff craft. They don't have a lot of fuel capacity. They don't have a uh, quantum drive, so they can't go far. So they pretty much depend on their, um, their companionship, constellation. It's a P52 and a P72. One's a little fancier than the other. You can hear the, uh, the commercial. Oh, yeah, these are actually very uh, sleepy bit. Can't see it right now, but there's like a machine gun in the center line. This one takes out the machine gun for an extra intake. It's a little speedier than that one. I'll show you inside. Gun in the front right there. They should be attached to the wings. But yeah. Wings fold up for compactness. Pop out.
because the, uh, the main machine gun is gone now, we have two more weapons with this on the wings. Not two more, one more on the side. One more weapon slot. This one is a little bit. This one's a little bit more luxury. This looks a little bit more nicer. Better paint job. But in the future, you'll be able to like customize paint jobs. Now here is the Mustangs from Consolidated Outline. It's kind of like the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the Tesla Star City. You know. The you know, CEO of Consolidated Outline. As you see him in the uh, commercials. He's very Elon Musk-like. You know what I'm saying. This is. Delta, where's the base model? Yeah. This one here is the base model called the Alpha. It's very nice, very sleek. And just like the Aurora series, there's external cargo in the back. Now it has like these uh, placeholder boxes here, but yeah, until they get uh, external cargo implemented and like place items in the box or other stuff. The boxes in boxes, boxes in your box. Yeah. Close cargo bay. And it's nice and snug right there. That one's the Delta. Uh, once I get the armor system in the game, uh, this will have a little bit more armor because it is the light fighter version of the Mustang line. This one is just the uh, the base model version. It's a light freight. Yeah. Beta. This one's the racing version. And as you can see, it won't have Delta as well. It won't have the cargo grid in the back. It has an extra engine. Choose extra speeds, you know what I'm saying? Fast and quick. It has upgraded engines, and third engine added. And light armaments. Be a little scout fighter, but mostly mostly focused on racing. I would say. I don't know. I don't, it could be space here for something, but I don't know. Maybe larger uh, components like shield generators, uh, give it that military edge. Combat edge, not really military. But here is the beta. This one I'll actually be going inside because there's something I need to show you inside. The beta, Pathfinder. It's kind of like the uh, the Explorer variant. 
could do some light exploration in this. Rule of thumb with all like one seaters in the game is you enter to the right side always. Pretty much just like a uh, real life jets. Yeah, power on. And as you see, you get very good visibility. Very good visibility. Absolutely no struts to be found whatsoever. And you got this nice wide uh Basically one huge screen, you can have many different like, NFT-like panels on it. Yeah, show you a bit outside. Once again, the wings fold up for compact. It's one of the few ships in the game that has wheels for landing. So, actually, like, kind of like off a land little aircraft. Back in here. There we go. As you can see, there's a whole back section over here. We got a whole studio apartment. Oh, look. Someone just climbed in to the front seat. got a whole studio apartment over here. You got your sink, you know, a little glass stove over here, you got your bed over here, uh, I don't see no TV screens, and, uh, AC unit, and you got a bathroom. Shower combo. That's like a most ships, you got like a, a toilet shower combo, you know, try to save as much space as possible. This one has an ugly ass head. Ah, damn, what happened to him? Okay. That's it for today.